What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is a series where I go into great detail with all of the stats as well as some excellent attachment combinations for every gun in Modern Warfare 3. And in today's episode, we're going to be covering the brand new assault rifle that came with Season 2. This is the BP-50. And starting it off as always, let's have a look at our damage profile. And with this gun, it's going to be a 5 to 7 shot kill, although it could technically be an 8 shot kill in the longer ranges if you're hitting too many shots to the leg or lower torso. And also, it is worth noting, our headshot damage multiplier isn't very good with this gun, and you'll actually never be able to reduce the number of shots to kill in a given range with headshots mixed in. As for our rate of fire though, this is quite fast for an assault rifle at least, at 857 rounds per minute, and what this means for our time to kill potential is with a 5 shot kill, we're killing in 280 milliseconds, which is a very fast time to kill for an assault rifle in this game, that's much more competitive with SMGs. Now with a 6 shot kill it will increase up to 350 milliseconds which is still tolerable and then with a 7 shot kill it is going to be quite slow at 420 milliseconds. As for our ranges, this is an area where the BP-50 doesn't excel for an assault rifle. You can see here it has the worst range values out of all of the assault rifles. So while it can kill faster than most of the assault rifles right up close and personal, the range at which you're able to do that is quite limited. Then our bullet velocity is great at 750 meters per second, that should generally never be an issue for you with this gun. Also when it comes to hardcore game modes, in the maximum damage range we're guaranteed a one shot kill, however in that second damage range we can only get a one shot kill to the upper torso and arms, and anything beyond that will be a two shot kill to the body, however our one shot kill to the head potential is about 35 meters. Next up, let's have a look at our hip fire, which is actually really, really good with this gun. In fact, it's got better hip fire than many of the SMGs in this game, and this is an area where this gun absolutely excels. Then, taking a look at our recoil, I was quite surprised to find that this gun is also very accurate. There is very little horizontal recoil. It has a slight drift to the right, but it's a nice straight line. There's no zigzags involved here. Although, I would say there's a little bit of gun kick with this, and therefore it will bounce side to side a little bit as it kicks upward on that nice straight line. So, gun kick is an area you generally want to focus on when creating your class setups with this. But, generally speaking, this is a very accurate and easy to control weapon. And now let's move into our handling stats, and our aimed out sight time is very good for an assault rifle at 220 milliseconds. This is much more competitive with SMGs. And our sprint to fire time is also quite good for assault rifles, although not quite approaching SMG levels at 168 milliseconds for our standard sprint out time and about 265 milliseconds for our tactical sprint out time. As for our reload add time though, unfortunately it is quite slow for an assault rifle at 1.92 seconds, and especially when you consider the fact that this has a higher fire rate and therefore you need to reload more often, this is a considerable downside with this gun that you have to prepare for. And then finally, for the base stats of this gun, let's have a look at our movement speeds. And for our base movement speed and our sprint movement speed, they are noticeably above average and this is excellent, but most notably here, our aim walking movement speed is incredibly fast. It's not just like a little bit above average. This is very significantly better than any of the other assault rifles in the entire game. In fact, it's even faster than all of the Modern Warfare 3 SMGs, aside from the WSP Swarm, which it is tied with. So this is a massive upside with this gun, and likely something you'll want to take advantage of. And there we go, that wraps it up for all of the basic stats of the BP-50. And it's pretty clear that they designed this to be sort of a SMG assault rifle hybrid, or like a flex roll assault rifle that's designed to really compete well in close quarters situations, while not having the typical benefits that an assault rifle would have at the mid to longer ranges. So now let's get into some excellent attachment combinations I've got for you guys with this gun. The first one I wanted to share is my accuracy build. And with this, we're using the T51R billeted brake, the Lore 9 heavy barrel, the Mark III reflector, but use whatever optic you're comfortable with, the Moat 40 stock, and then finally the TRST4 grip tape. And with this combination, you can see we've got a very, very accurate gun on our hands, especially with those initial shots that you fire. They are grouped so tightly together that you barely even have to do anything to control that recoil. And then on top of that, surprisingly for an accuracy build, we actually improved our aim down sight speed. It's 205 milliseconds, which is insane when you consider just how accurate this gun is. Our sprint out time is harmed a little bit, but it's still very good for an assault rifle at 191 milliseconds. Our range values are increased by 9% overall, and our bullet velocity is increased up to 850 meters per second. So this one is excellent, super versatile. While it is an accuracy build, you don't have to like hang back and pick people off. You can still play quite aggressively with this, while also maintaining the ability to challenge gunfights at longer ranges. And this is definitely not a bad way to run the BP-50. However, I have a preferred build that I really like using, at least for 6v6, and this is my Stealth and Strafe build. And with this one, we're using a Shadow Strike Suppressor to stay off the radar. We've got the LHT 200 barrel, the SL Skeletal Vertical Underbarrel, 
the Moat 40 stock, and then finally the TRST4 grip tape. And with this one, we still got a very accurate gun on our hands, although not as accurate as the previous one. This is still very easy to control and predict. Our aim down sight time is nicely improved at 189 milliseconds. That's very, very fast. Our sprint out speed is untouched, but it's fast by default, so this is good. And one of the most important things with this is our aim walking speed is four meters per second. That is very fast, especially for an assault rifle. I mean, that's really fast for an SMG and this is an assault rifle, so that's excellent. So you make sure you take advantage of that with this setup. You can strafe back and forth in gunfights. If you want, you can combine this with the ninja vest and the stalker boots to improve that even more and make yourself a very difficult target to hit. Now, unfortunately, with this setup, we are sacrificing 10% to our damage range, and this gun doesn't have very good ranges by default, so that is a limitation with this build. However, I find that is worth it for all of the upsides that we're gaining here to our handling and mobility. And generally speaking, that's actually my favorite build to use with the BP-50 at the moment. However, I want to share one last build for you guys, and this is my hip fire and tack stance build, because if you guys remember, this has excellent hip fire by default, so we can make it even better and really lean into that. And with this one, we're using the Normandy 41 short barrel, the Bruin Bastion angled grip, the Schlager ULO 66 laser, the CCG tack tape in our rear grip, and then finally the 45 round mag so we can spray and pray a little bit. And with this particular setup, it's very accurate in tack stance. In this clip, I am controlling the recoil, so I am pulling down a little bit, but I just wanted to show you how accurate and precise this can be while in tack stance. Our aim down sight speed is slowed down to 249 milliseconds, but that's not really a problem if we're using it in tack stance. Our sprint out speed is very nicely improved at 140 milliseconds. That's excellent, so you can be super aggressive with this. Our hip fire spread is also super, super tight with this. Whether you're standing still or moving around, it's very tight and accurate. And like I said, our tack stance is also amazing with this gun. And normally I'd consider hip fire and tack stance to be like a super niche way to use a gun, but not so much with this one. This is actually one of the most effective ways of using the BP-50. And you should be able to find a ton of success with this build. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up today's gun guide on the brand new BP-50 assault rifle. As for my thoughts on this gun, I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely a meta gun now. It might not be the most versatile meta gun out there, but it doesn't have to be versatile to still be considered meta. It's really good at what it's designed to do, which is bridge that gap between SMGs and assault rifles. It's incredible. Anything within about 35 meters or so, which is its six shot kill potential, is going to be a very, very solid gun. It's super accurate, amazing handling and mobility stats. That stray speed also is just incredible. And I'm definitely a big fan of the BP-50. Now, of course, these are just my thoughts on this gun, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about it in those comments down below. Also, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guides, I will leave a link to the playlist in the description of the video. If you enjoyed this one, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.